Well, hello there, YouTube. <laughs> and welcome to Sunday, the 11th of October. Man, what a mess it's been out here. I'm under one of my little totes. I just grabbed one out of the Beamer saddlebag. I think I got them in every saddlebag of every motorcycle and in survival kits and everything else. These things are an absolute must for a motorcycle traveling. And surprisingly, look, it's got, it's got Kylie freaked out. It's me, Kai Kai. Kylie, it's me. I was trying to get out from underneath the umbrella. She's still, <laughs> she's still not having any of it, is she? But more than for rain, you use them when you're going into hot places. Like you're driving out in the desert where there's no shade. Um, you have a breakdown or something or one of your buddies does and you're standing around with everybody else, make sure you get a black one that will absorb light. They're just cheap, they're like 10 bucks, totes from Walmart or just about any store. Yeah, she ain't liking that at all. So anyway, I'm out here, I didn't want to get the, the camera all wet. A guy sent me an email with some pictures of his wonderful uh, Greyhound puppies got two greyhounds god those are such those, i don't know if you've ever been around greyhound dogs before they are the most affectionate loving dogs they absolutely love to cuddle and that's why old sashi is sashi sashi nanny got that got a bath today it was just getting a little uh, getting a little rough and it's been too long so both of them got baths and uh kelly gave them both the bath and sasha She's gotten to where she just sits there. She's so good. But Annie never stinks, ever. She's like Abby. She never stinks. She's always soft and cuddly, never stinks. But Kelly gave her a bath anyway, and uh, that didn't go very well. <laughs> Annie is very hyper. Uh, anyway, but anyway, uh, the, the Joe, I, th I think he comments with the same name. We'll just call him Joe. <laughs> anyway, he sent a an email and he's got a huge collection i think he's even got the knipex uh uh the little uh briefcase kind of thing too i think that's what the tools are all laying on in the background but dude he's got a good collection i'm like man i'm envious right now i've got two i've got a pair of odeker clamps that i probably had for over 20 years it was i ordered it through honda God, that might have been back in the Portland Honda days or St. John's or Columbia River. I know I got it being at a Honda dealer and uh, it's a special tool. It's when those Oetker clamps first started to become a thing on motorcycles. I didn't even know what to do with those things. I didn't know how they even worked, you know. But uh, anyway, I got a pair of Knipex uh, Oetker clamps. We always jokingly call them OE Tikers. <laughs> Uh, I'll show you those right quick. It has not been a pleasing day today. This has been the day. It literally, I don't think it's stopped, not even once. It just goes from light rain like it is now to uh, to heavy rain. Look at the grapes, if I can do this and keep it out of the rain. Yeah, them puppies are nice and ripe. Look at that. All the ones on the ground are gone because the dogs eat them. And yes, I know that grapes are normally poisonous for dogs, but I don't know, there's something in their breeding. Not only does it not hurt them, but they absolutely love them. They go crazy over them. They'll jump up and uh, Sparky jumps in the air and grabs them out of the tree. All right, let me show you them pliers. I've actually been gone for probably a couple hours. I uh, was coming in here and Kelly comes in, she had made lunch, so I went in and had lunch. And uh, Tetro Machine, if you guys ever watch him, of all things, he's in the middle of doing a 73 shovel head bobber project. Um, I'm not sure what model, if that's an FX or an FL model that he's got there, but yeah, Tetro Machine. He's a little rough and raw, kind of old school, but it's, it's fun to watch. He's tearing that thing completely down now, so I watched several of those videos. But because the camera, 
um, work was so bad yesterday, I thought I'd give you guys a better look at the Kniebex, um 6 inch plier wrench. Really cool how these things work. I love the small pair. I mistakenly talked about size, saying it was less than 27 um, millimeters. There is a 125 millimeter or a five inch version that I was looking at that day. And if you look, it'll tell you what the maximum capacity, 27 millimeters. It's weird that it says one inch. Um, 27 millimeters is slightly bigger than an inch. But anyway, these things uh, give you a close up of how they work. 10 times the amount of pressure you can squeeze on these things. I've heard of people using these like a hand press. It's such an even, flat closure. This works so good. Can't wait to get the larger size. I bought that, the 7, 10, and 12 inch kit. That 12 inch one goes to 60 millimeters width. <laughs> cool. But this is my Knipex Odeker clamp. Otiker. Otiker clamp. And I've showed you guys these before. This is a, I tried to find one to use as an example, but uh, this is the only one I could find is the bottom of an old bolt bin. This, from the way it's taken apart in an odd way, it must've been something Ryan did or could have been something I did. I have no idea how long it's been there. I think that, what is it? 9.5 millimeter. I don't know what it is. Oh, they always have a size. So, you know, pay attention when you're like, say a fuel filter, it's not common, but you can have one size Oetker clamp on one end of the filter and another on the other. So, you know, if you're doing something for the first time, uh, you know, take note of these things so that if you have to run to an auto parts store and grab some, you know what sizes or what. But how these uh, Oetker clamp pliers work, these are supposed to be the cutters. You're supposed to grab the head of the Oetker clamp and squeeze with all your life and cut that head off and it it releases them two things happen when i do that this little tail can fall somewhere in the bike and the smaller like these smaller ones like this i don't know why they're almost impossible to cut the bigger they are the more you can grab like one side and they'll slice through that way easier but what i do on these small ones this is, I got a pair of snap-on pliers I use at work. These are just like hobby um, snips. Um, I, I don't use them on Oetker clamps because you would, something this soft you would destroy. But this hole right here hangs in, this is looped over better. This is what holds it down. And of course you got the, you know, the barbed teeth underneath that are grabbing the other holes. But what I do is I reach, even when it's clipped down, reach in grab a corner of that thing and just twist and it'll snap it out of the little lock pin and then you just simply unfold the Oetker clamp and it's out of there. That's how I do them. And in a lot of tight places I can't get them Oetker clamp pliers in there. So you can always like a fuel hose or a purge valve or something like that on a uh, like a spider you can spin this thing one way or the other to expose the tail of the Oetker clamp and flip that thing off like I just showed you. The other side, if you notice, this is the cutting side. These are like wire cutters. The other side, if you notice, does not collapse all the way. And just looking at this thing, that thing's been over, over pinched. You should have like one and a half millimeters or something like that as minimum. But you'll notice that doesn't close all the way down. And the reason being is so that you don't accidentally, and if you do squeeze it all the way, but anyway, it's, that's all it's got. And that's the reason for the gap in it is to keep you, because if you use this in, which I've been guilty of doing, because it's hard to get in there sometimes, you gotta watch it. If you squeeze these, you've over torqued them for sure, because that's the cutters. And the fact you could have weakened that clamp by putting a cut notch in it. 
these things are super high end, used in really high end applications. And uh, be careful buying the cheap ones too, by the way. You know, you can go to Harbor Freight and get a little kit of these things. I would not use them for nothing. I've heard of the cheap ones of these breaking. If you're not spending, uh, you know, a buck or better, maybe even a couple bucks, I don't know, each on these things, I think I'd pass, depending on what you're using it on. But uh, anyway, that's my Kniepex um, Oedeker clamp pliers that I've had for a very, very long time. They're nice and clean because uh, this is my second pair that's in my home box. I actually lost these things for quite some time until I reset up that toolbox over there. And uh, they appeared and I like couldn't believe I found them. I knew I had a second set. Because I bought the first one and there was something I was doing at home. I think I was in Portland at the time. I was doing something at home and needed another set so I ordered another set from Honda. Because I got employee costs when you order them from Honda. That was way back when. Cool stuff, huh? I'll be a son of a gun. I was putting my stuff away. And I thought this was one of my uh, mock-up ones or copies. I actually have another pair of Knipex. With BMW Special Tools and Honda Special Tools. Um, Knipex is part of Special Tools that we have. That's how I ended up with the, those Honda ones from Honda. They are a Knipex, it's just Honda. It's, they're such quality that manufacturers use them. This one's got some rust or something on it. Um, there's a set I got my eyeball on. It's a fairly new set, 180 millimeters. So this is a six inch or seven inch uh, length ones. Um, there's a newer one called the Cobra that has that button style, um, like the, the plier wrench that I was showing you. These have been around for a while. They work phenomenally well. I guess you can see what you're doing more, but sometimes you get it kind of in a weird spot and you gotta, you know, find your spot. But man, you talking about something that flat grips? See how the, the teeth are, have a kind of a barbed effect to them? And these are the same way. They kind of have that, that deal. Once you bite, it kind of rolls into it and then you're just putting pressure on the one side. Once you have a bite on it, you don't have to keep squeezing. It will light in itself. Look at the size that that thing will go to. Oh, dang. Had another Kniepex here, here at the house. All right, thought I'd throw that in. Oh, my cute little collection is growing. <laughs> About to have some more here next week. Just more of those plier wrenches, like the ones at the top. Man. Look at this hot mess going on out here right now. Sideways rain, wind. There's been some good gushes going on out here. I love it though. I love the sound of the wind blowing. Very, very peaceful. Oh man, I tried to get some of the sideways wind that was going on here. And every time I turn the camera on, it goes, it goes quiet. Man, it was blowing so hard, it was like shaking the camera. Now, of course, as soon as I turn it on, it stops. Wouldn't you know it? That's my little hole that I say the little uh, morning things there. There we are. That's a pretty decent gust. Nice. Well, hello there, YouTube. On this rainy, and I do mean rainy, Sunday afternoon. It is just plain wow. yucky. That's crazy. I don't think it's even five o'clock, yeah, or maybe it's right at about five. Sunset's like 6.30 tonight. And days are getting shorter, quick. They are. Sparky going down the road out there. We're just standing under the patio here trying to stay somewhat dry. You gotta walk out here with an umbrella unless you don't mind getting you and all your stuff wet. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, hope you guys enjoyed me goofing around with a uh, Talking about plier stuff again, showing how Oedeker clamps work and stuff like that. That's fun to me, it's really fun. I've been watching that uh, Tetro machine, of all things, he's taken apart, he's gonna build a custom bobber out of a 73 shovel head. 74 inch, I don't know if it's a FX, FX I'm not sure what model that thing started out as. 
But of all things, what was I telling you guys about? Old shovel head. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I think his, what was this, a 73? I think it's a 73, yeah. yeah. I think I already said that. I was talking to people about 71s and 72s today, and, and uh, Tetro Machine is doing a, a 73. He's kind of rough and raw to watch. Doesn't always use the right tool at the right time, but I don't know. He, he's he's very entertaining. I keep finding myself falling asleep watching him, though. Wow. <laughs> but, yeah, really cool. And of all things, that's his newest project. I'm down with that. I'll be watching that one. All right. But anyway, on that, I think we're going to roll out. Hope that tomorrow morning is a better day. Well, it'll be nice and sunny tomorrow that we're at work. You know how that oh, goes. Oh, yeah. It's Always. a given. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Monday or Tuesday. Heck, yeah. All right. We'll be back Hopefully it'll be nicer just for the drive alone, man. Yeah, we've seen some to. crazy so. stuff on Friday night. So Yeah. I was gonna show some of that, but that'd probably get me in trouble. Yeah. I mean nothing gory, it's just it was a gory event. Yeah. Everybody was fine. Yep. But uh, you know, people are kinda sensitive nowadays, you know. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys in the morning. Bye. Thanks for watching now.